it's muted. Okay, so it, I was muted this entire time. I didn't know because my microphone setup has changed. When I have this, when I stream on the console, I have to change. I have to move everything off my desk, which means I have to take the Yeti microphone off its stand and put it on a different stand. Because this, so far, I found no place for me to move the little arm thing here, so it's annoying. And um, so it's taken a little bit to move. At least it's pretty smooth. The Elgato card is quite good. Should I start a new game or should I go start my old game? What would people like to see? Also, I apologize for my voice. I think because I'm talking so much lately, thanks to Overwatch and streaming and other things, and hanging out with people in real life, um, I feel like my voice is going hoarse, just making it harder for me to try to make my voice sound okay at all. So I'm getting like misgendered constantly, and I feel it's horrible. And Overwatch is not helping this whole thing either. So I hate it. I hate it. Everything sucks. Um, hi everyone. Okay, so what are we doing? Should I start a new game? Or should- do we want me to start? I guess I'll start a new game. For stream purposes, let's start a new game. Yeah. Will be Peach. Yeah! I'm getting noises here. Oh, I am. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. My game controller is also making noises. I forgot it. Can people see and hear and everything? Okay, so a bunch of things have been kidnapped by Bowser. It's always evil. Given that this is like a combination of Super Mario Bros. 2, I'm actually shocked they didn't bring Wart back. I would like to see Wart back. I just finished an Overwatch Mayhem game as Lucio, where I finished um, the game by booping D.Va off the ledge. I'd been trying to boop someone off the ledge when we got to that point, the bridge on Eichenwald. We were defending the payload, and they had gone all the way there, and then everyone else had been wiped off the ledge. It was just D.Va who May froze and we boost, booped her off there suit and then um and then she was little diva and then when she got near the bridge i booped her off to end the game everyone kind of remarked on that which is a little weird um other than that i was cleaning i've been thinking about just making a podcast just to start doing something I haven't figured out what to do though. 
if I should be themed, should I talk about new video games since like I am playing a lot of video games lately. Maybe I should talk about video games movies? I was watching the new Ghostbusters. Um, if you like the new Ghostbusters, then good for you. I find it I, I, I'm not enjoying it so far. I haven't finished watching it. I'm not enjoying the new Ghostbusters, but it's like... I don't think the original one is a super great work of art either. I like it. The original one's okay. The new one has a lot of the problems of general remakes I don't like, where it's like there's a lot of fan servicey things where it's like we're gonna do the origin of the suit and we're gonna do the origin of of uh, of the logo and all this stuff is so on the nose that I'm always feels it's not just Ghostbusters. It's like everything. Um, Whether it's like the prequels, we have to give the origin of like Boba Fett, we have to give the origins, we need an origin story for how R2 and C3PO met, and, or aliens, we need to explain how the aliens appeared. It's like, no, you don't. Please stop trying to explain things. Anyways, but to each their own. Um, I watched uh, the movie it's Jason Statham movie Safe, which is like a combination of Leon the Professional and uh, hey, what's up? I'm supposed to go that way, and uh, I think I missed a star. And, uh, and what other movies did this remind me of? Uh, get back here, buddy. And the Transporter series. No, this is getting my way. I actually thought that being a cat would be like get you killed in water or freak out, but no, apparently not. There's no negative side effects. Um, and oh, in Commando, yeah, because like the whole thing is that he's the super black ops guy. That's the reveal that he's actually the super black ops guy. And you know, and therefore, and there, and and it's like you know, you took something, you took somebody he cares about, so he's gonna like beat the crap out of you now, like Commando. Um, there is some c clever stuff. Like whenever I think the movie has just become so cliche. It's weird because all the reviews say it's incredibly cliche, right? But there's a, there's also a part where they just completely subvert your expectations at the end. And it's like, it's kind of, kind of cool, actually. What just happened? Oh, no, I think I missed my chance to... Yeah, this is the part I had to break open when I was Big Peach. And, uh, but I enjoyed the movie for the most part. I like Jason Statham. Like, whether he's a great actor or not, I, he, he does the tough guy of a heart really well. Like, I always believe that he's not a terrible person. Um, and I think that's sort of important. Like, I talked about this with Terminator, where it's like, and the new Terminator movie might be an example of this. Terminator Genesis, the reboot, soft boot, not boot. But it's like, um, Kyle Reese, it wasn't played by, uh, Michael Bean. Uh, like, if he wasn't, if he was played by a different actor, someone who, who, like, at least to me, I bought as somebody who, who was sort of 
well-meaning and safe, despite the fact that at the very outset he's kind of creepy, right? Because he's kind of stalking Sarah Connor, he's kidnapping Sarah Connor, he's like, stop fighting me, I'm just trying to help you, right? And it could be really awful, but in my opinion, they pull it off good. And it's like a different actor might not be able to pull it off. And it's like, certain people have that, like, Chris Evans has that, where it's like you buy him as a good person. Like in Cellular, right? Cellular is one of my favorite underrated films. And um, I think that Chris Evans really makes it, where it's like, you could have someone else who just comes off as a really obnoxious hero, whereas he comes off as despite the fact that he obviously doesn't look like a regular guy he comes off very much like a nice regular guy and you can kind of buy that he's sort of immature but he's also well-meaning um it's a difficult balance i think no cat trees I'm just getting the rest of the stars I missed. Bye. This is my favorite suit, the little cat suit. So adorable. It's so Nintendo taking advantage of stuff that's in, but it's like, it's so cute. Do -do 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 -do. Cats are popular. So apparently cats can mini fly. I think this is just because Peach has the little float, so as the cat she's got the little float. Do -do 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 -do. As much as people like talk trash about Mario 2, they especially used to. I think Mario 2 has definitely gotten a resurgence now, partly because of their nostalgia, partly also because of speedrunning and stuff. Like, I know there was a period of time where everyone just hated Mario 2. And... Get back here. Oh wait, I already caught you. Anyways. Oh yeah, and I've got this too. The little paint thing. There's so many things to get. And it's like, oh, it's not a real Mario game because it's a remix of whatever. But, um... Ooh, why not? Yeah, see, so, so over here, <coughs> I need the brink. Cat Goombas. But it's like Mario 2, besides that, it gave us Peach as a playable character. And in, it like gave us Toad as a character, even though I know Toad retainers were in the first game. But mushroom retainers. But it's like... And it gave us Shy Guys and all these other characters that have become Mario characters. But like, it gave us all of the cartoons. All the Mario cartoons of the past that people like. A lot of that came from, before Mario 3, a lot, like the Super Show came a lot from Mario 2 too, so that's kind of cool. Doop -boo 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 -boo. I promise I'll stream earlier in the future. 
I know I stream really late sometimes. I've just been very indecisive about stuff. More time. Hey, get back here. Get back here, giant bunny. Okay, I need to quickly move towards here before she shrinks. Over there, what is it, Peach? What? Yay. One of the problems with this game is it's so hard to tell where you are. Apparently because this is a sequel to Super Mario 3D Land, which is for the 3DS, and in the 3DS obviously it's in 3D, so it's much easier for you to figure out yourself in this 3D space, whereas here I often have t trouble figuring out exactly where I am. Meow, 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 meow. What's going on here? Koopa Troopa Cave. hoping when she became Fire Peach that she would get like overalls or something. The Fire Peach dress is okay but I mean it's not like her cat thing is a dress so I feel like her Fire Peach Hey Hey there Koopa Troopa Sneaking in. Assassin. Floop. I like how it doesn't kill them anymore. It just knocks them out of their shell. Oh no! Reviews. Review of Mirror's Edge. I love Mirror's Edge. It's the greatest game ever made. I'll never say that. I, I'll talk about why I like Mirror's Edge. Like I know a lot of people will always make the argument that the game they like is like the most perfect game ever and why. And I don't think so. Like one of the things I disagreed with with the Ghostbusters stuff is like Rich Evans, who really loves Ghostbusters, doesn't like the reboot. And that's his right. And he feels sort of insulted by a lot of the stuff there, which is fine. I might disagree with him on that, but it's like, but he's like, Ghostbusters is like the most perfect movie, and it's, it was. I'm like, no, it's not. The first one, no, it's not. First one's good, but it's not super great. But yeah, I love Mirror's Edge. 
I'm not going to say that Mirror's Edge is like a perfect game. And lots of people don't like Mirror's Edge. I totally get why. Eh. Come on, turtle. Floop. Oh, wait. I might not want to break that. Extra time. Yeah, see, I might not want to break that. This looks like there's something over here. I am so smart. I have to kill them in a certain amount of time, right? Yay! Ah, small Goombas. Baby Goombas. Why am I killing baby Goombas? I'm horrible. Peach, you monster. Oh no, I've placed my little cat bell. I like my cat bell. Hi Trish. Trish is watching. If any of the people are watching, say hi too. So that I know that you're there. What's up here? See, it's so hard for me to figure out where. <laughs> uh, what's here? Uh-huh. A paint stamp. Mm, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch. And other things. Oh. That's interesting. I've been... I've been playing a lot of Capture the Flag and, and the 3v3 and 6v6 eliminations. I've been using different characters. I don't tend to use D.Va for those, although for Capture the Flag, D.Va is really good at capturing the flag because she can. she's one of the few characters that could... Sh because any damage will knock you off the flag, so she can actually stand there and, and shield to avoid that. I have a highlight on my channel of me doing that, where I stood there and just block all the damage. And then capture the flag, which is really cool. But it's like, so I've been playing other characters, but I still... D.Va, I think I have twice as much time on her as I have on Mercy, and Mercy is like 10 times as much as anyone else. So there's a, quite a steep drop off, but I'm getting better with Symmetra. I play Widowmaker a lot, but I'm not that good at her. Um, but I mostly don't play if my I don't have friends to play with because people are jerks and because it's boring. I find Overwatch very samey. It's why I play like I play other like I play a lot of arcade. Mayhem is kind of fun. Oh, I might have wanted to eat a flower. Oh no. This is like the Hammer Brother matches from Super Mario Brothers 3. If you remember those. If anyone remember those. Like occasionally they would just show up and you have to fight them. Football Brothers. But yeah, I don't find comp very exciting. I play comp with my friends if they want me to play, but people take it super seriously and they're super angry. There needs to be a mode that's not that. 
And then... And it's like in quick play people take it seriously sometimes too? Okay, so this is a trick. So oh, Actually, no, it's not a trick. I think I thought it was a trick, but then the big one is actually bigger, I think. Anyways, I just want this. Give me my cat suit. Do the, do. But yeah, I'm mostly kind of lonely. Which is why I stream, which is why I do. I need this on my Patreon. It's the thing I need to do. I keep putting it off because I suck and I have anxiety about people getting on my case about it. I need to do a bunch of things. What's going on? Do -do 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 -do. I wish you could actually make this 3D and not this like Mario 64 3D. That would be nice. Hey, what's this? Oh, well, it's telling me where to go. You have to go up there. Thank you, little thing. Whoa. Katsu is adorable. I love it. So good. Look at those cat Goombas. Goomba are the hard working, like what I say, the Goombas are the proletariat of Mario. I believe I made a tweet to that effect once. It was surprisingly popular. I also want to start playing other things like uh, I've stopped playing StarCraft 2 just because I'm sort of mad at Blizzard in general. I know I have Overwatch, but I someone already bought me Overwatch, so that's a sunk cost. Um, I was trying StarCraft 2, but I didn't buy it. So I'm like, I'm gonna try Sins of the Solo Empire because it's like that's a real-time strategy game that I know a friend wanted me to play. She got me a copy. Me and another friend were supposed to play, so. Um, and I'm still sort of interested in that. The time limit, right? So I want to try, like I tried the tutorial and it was a little confusing. Oh no! Come on Peach, you can do it. No! Hey! But, it's a real time strategy game. I'm gonna try it because I'm supposed to be playing it with Trish anyways. Um, and some other things. There are a whole bunch of games. I still need to do my 8 hour, 10 hour Dead Rising 2 stream so I can finish Dead Rising 2 and move on with my life. And play Dead Rising 1, <laughs> basically. I want to play Code Veronica finally because I have it for... GameCube, and I've never played Code Veronica. I've always wanted to because I was Claire and I love Claire, but um, my ability to play Code Veronica was pretty much after I had lost uh, my social life in real life due to mental illness and, um, and transition, a combination of the two. So I didn't have anyone to play video games with anymore, and I pretty much play video games socially. Like, even one-player games, I, like, I don't find much enjoyment either wa without watching people play or having, like, someone to play for, hence the streaming. And hence why, like, now that I have my friend Jesse. this. Oh no! In person, he's like a dog person. If you know him on Twitter. And he's uh, he's in Toronto and he's playing Resident Evil. I, I lent him my Resident Evils and he's been playing them whenever I come over. 
and uh, it's really amusing. <laughs> and that's fun. Do, 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 do. Oh no! It's an evil plant. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I see. I see. Bam. Do, do, do. Let's climb these trees. Cats are really good at climbing trees. No climbing up trees. It's a mushroom. Like Diva when, when she puts up her shield. No. Wait, am I supposed to? I feel like I'm missing. Oh, am I just supposed to? Just to uh, arc. Yeah, I'm running out of time. <laughs> See, I can't tell where I am. <laughs> it's so bad. Here we go. So you know, you can open the electronic manual from the home. There are some unexpected discoveries there. I can't remember what those were. A secret house. One for Plessy's Plunging Falls. Oh yeah, this is their... I think... Wasn't Plessy the dinosaur thing that you rode in Mario 64? Okay, anyways. Off we go, Plessy. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. Control your speed by using up or down. When playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher than when everyone's working together. Oh yeah, I guess you all ride it together, and then you all have to. It's Sonic! Oh my god. No, I missed the star. Darn it. No, plus it's just so hard to control. Oh, I missed all the star. Help. This is the music from Mario 64. I can't really hear it because I turned off. Oh yeah, I should have gone that way. Oh well. No! Pussy, don't fall off! Please don't fall off! You can do it! You can do it! Come on, don't fall off! Yes! Good job. Good job, Pussy. 
Ow. Kabam! No! Oh, that sucked. I have to do this level again. Take out the stars again. We can do it. Yeah, this is the Mario 64 music. It was like when you did things, right? No! Frick! <laughs> you control terribly, Plessy. here is kind of Mario's like yeah there's a lot of story to Mario series it's fine because it's Mario 64 stuff Mario 3 Mario World Mario 2 but I also want to see some new stuff I like new things <laughs> oh my god um okay let's do this again I still have one to start to collect here. Horse clear. I 
I think I'm gonna play Dino Crisis at some point, but I'm gonna have to start early in the night. Like, I'm not gonna start Dino Crisis at 2 a.m. Because I'm not gonna be- I wanna play it, like, all night, one night. I also have Final Fantasy 8 and stuff. I don't have Final Fantasy 10, no, 9. I don't have Final Fantasy 9 anymore because I gave it to Zinxie. I mailed it to her because she really likes Final Fantasy 9 and she doesn't have her copy anymore, so. But it means I don't have Final Fantasy 9 anymore. Here we go. Got it. I'm trying to get these things. <laughs> I still can't get that one. Oh my god! Well, if these aren't, don't lead to the star, what do they lead to? Maybe just a one up. up too early. That's yeah, fine. I really don't like the way Chris Hemsworth character is treated in like because the original secretary in Ghostbusters wasn't even sexualized and she wasn't made fun of. The whole joke was that she was nerdy too, but she just wasn't as nerdy as them. But it's like, so it's sort of, it's not even like ripping off the first, it's ripping off the, a tr like sort of the stereotype of the ditzy thing, but it's not like I, I don't find that particularly better. I don't want to like, we're gonna do to men what we've been doing to women. That's not, I'm not particularly happy with that. I think I played the Sonic stage like this once. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that was a Sonic 3D level that was like the Sonic Adventure. I will play Sonic Adventure on stream at some point because I like Sonic Adventure. I know I'm like the only one who likes Sonic Adventure, but I like Sonic Adventure and Unlike other people, I don't like the original Sonic games very much. Oh. Yeah, so the goal is to get them all to be exclamation points without getting, turning them into, um, not exclamation, question marks. That's what they're called. Die bees, buzz bees. No! No. Oh. Come on. Hey. Couple arm. Where am I now? Do 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 do. So new girl Doctor Who, female Doctor Who, woman Doctor Who is all really awesome. I'm very excited because it's like. I don't know, because it's still going to be Doctor Who, and Doctor Who's kind of like a horror series now. That's why I stopped watching it. But I am, I've also wanted a female Doctor for a while, so I'm sort of excited. This really isn't that hard, because you can just step on it again. And this is also where Peach's float thing comes in handy quite a bit.
probably just got an item. Okay, I was wondering what I got for it. What's at the top here? Which way should I go? Oh, I guess I should go this way then. Toronto Blue Jays are still being terrible. They're at this point where people are pretty sure that they're not going to get into the playoffs anymore. I mean, they could. You never know. Weirder things have happened in baseball. But but the problem is that it's not really a decision because everyone's like, oh, now you can blow up the team. But what are you going to blow up the team with? Oh, I did it. Nice. Go me. Oh, I missed the paint stamp. Where's the paint stamp in this level? Where am I missing? Oh. Because it's like... Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, so I didn't want... Like, in my opinion, it's like, you can't move too low, and Tulowitzki's not blocking anybody at shortstop. Like, if there was a young up-and-coming shortstop, then it'd be worth it to eat a salary and give him to someone, right? But he's not, so you might as well just hope that whatever is plaguing him is mostly mental and that he'll get over it. Like, he's only 32 or whatever. So it's like this idea because he's been in the league for so long. Like when they tell me he was 32, they never like they're like what? Because he's been in the league for so long and he was such a top player at such a young age that people when people think of him as an old person, right? And they're like, well, you know, he's over the hill. And yeah, he's over 30, but you don't fall off a cliff. And he's only 32. So it's like and he's been able to generally stay healthy which was the big knock against him right so it's like he's kind of got the opposite problem that he has in Colorado where he's generally staying healthy but he's not producing like his on base is terrible his on base it's not even like he's not hitting but he is getting on base because that's Martin and Bautista right who have on bases almost 400 um, despite hitting in the 200s. Uh, to Lewitsky's on base is under 300. It's terrible. But you, we have three more years of him. But like next year, then you only have two more years of him. So Bautista is a free agent, likely, because it's a mutual option. And I can't see the Jays picking it up. Like, he'll prob he would probably be okay with picking up the mutual option, but I doubt the Jays would be. I mean, who knows? I'm, hope I'm still hoping he retires as a Blue Jay, because I like him. And I want somebody to retire as a Blue Jay, even though I know he didn't spend his entire life as a Blue Jay. He's, like, his career essentially started when he joined the Blue Jays, for all that it matters. And I would like for him to retire as a Blue Jay, but it's probably not likely. But either way, it's like... Um, so if, if you're sick of Bautista, you'll be out from under him anyways. Um, Estrada's a free agent, Liriano's a free agent, and you can't get anything for them. Like, people are not going to give you very much for Bautista, unless, like, like if you can get something decent for him, I guess, but he's he has 10 and 5 rights. Which means he can, he's been, 10-5 rights means that 
you've been in the league 10 years and with the same team for five. I think that's what they, so it means that you have the right to veto a trade. And essentially he has a no trade clause and therefore he has to want to be traded. And maybe he doesn't just want to go anywhere because he, he said he's happy in Toronto. He's, and like he has to want to be to a place that has regular, will give him regular playing time. So it's like, if you're just get, some team will probably love to have him for the playoff run as a bat off the bench or like as a platoon player, but he's not going to be all right with that. Or just as a DH, and is he going to be happy if he was just a DH or something, right? So he has to be okay with it. He'd probably want a team to pick up his option, um, which they wouldn't want to. Uh, wait a second, what am I doing? Oh wait, am I supposed to, do I need the cat outfit to do this? Or why? Yeah, it feels like, okay, can I get up there? No, I need the cat outfit, really? Is there any other way to do this? falls and I can't get it back up. Oh wait, can I bounce off this? Oh, I can. Never mind. And uh, so like even if so it's not like you're stuck with them forever, right? And you're not gonna get anything for Liriano probably you're not gonna get anything for Estrada. So even if you stuck it out with Estrada, Lariano, and Bautista for the rest of the year, you're not stuck with them forever. They're leaving anyways. If you hate them, they're gone. And the Jays are not going to get tons of prospects for them even if you sold them. And they're not playing well. So, um... So if you want the Jays to tank, you know, you might as well keep them and tank. If you care about where your draft position is, which doesn't make that much of a difference in baseball, but um, so this is like a preview for Captain Toads. They actually made a game out of this. I played it; it's fun, but it's just lo lots of puzzle levels like this. So the big challenge in Captain Toad is you can't jump. So. So you can move by tilting your thing or by moving it, right? And then, so he can't jump. And so you have to kind of get to where you need to go without jumping. It's a puzzle game. They actually made a whole game out of this. It's kind of fun. But anyway, so... Um, Yeah. Anyways, and then it's like, if jo if if you can get Joe Smith back healthy and before the trade deadline he proves that he's healthy, then sure trade him for whatever you can get. You're not gonna get much. Um, but it's like, you you don't want to trade Martin because he's still useful, and he's still producing, and he's you like if you trade Martin, who's gonna catch, and who's gonna help the younger pitchers. So, like a full blow up. Wait, how do I get. Is there a tunnel? Oh, I see, okay. So. It's very confusing. So even if you, so you're not going to trade Martin, 
Probably. But like, if you want to blow it up completely, sure, trade Martin. I don't know if people want his contract for that much. Like, the problem is that their contract concerns. And the people without contract concerns, like, they'll fetch you a lot, are Aaron Sanchez, Roberto Silla, and Marcus Stroman, because they'd be under control for, what, three more years? But they're young. Like, they're, like if you're trading 22-year-old Roberto Osuna... You have to blow into the control way to make it work. Huh? Oh no. It's so hard for me to maneuver. Then, like, you're really committing to a rebuild, and you're hoping that whatever prospects you get will pan out. We're trying to, like, remember Brett Laurie and JVR and CBA? They were supposed to be amazing. Brett Laurie they traded um, Sean Markham for. Well, they essentially traded Sean Markham for. And it's like, he was supposed to be the can't-miss young prospect, and where's Brett Laurie now? So, like, you never know. Um, so this whole, like, blow it all up if you trade... Osuna, Sanchez, and Stroman, you'll get all these young prospects who'll be ready in a couple years. It's not hockey. This might not be true. So, um, don't be so sure. And so it's like, see, I don't think that they need to blow it up. Because again, who are you going to trade? You might as well just stick it out and see where you finish this year, because a whole bunch of people are gone next year anyways. And you can't trade them for anything good. And then, you can trade Josh Donaldson in the offseason if you've decided that you're not going to re-sign him. That's a probably a smart idea. But, um, but you keep Osuna, you keep Sanchez, you try to fill in around them, you spend some money. Soccer balls. Blam! That's cool. I don't remember this. Can't. Can't. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so I feel like, yeah, the Jays probably won't make the playoffs, but you might as well just try to make the wild card. You never know. With the wild card now, you really don't know what might happen. Oh, come on. I'm, what? And if you don't make it, you don't make it, because it's, again, like, if you don't like Estrada and Liriano, you're not gonna have them back next year anyways. You may or may not have Bautista back next year. Whoa, what's happening? I'm being chased. Oh wait, I might want to keep this stack of Goombas together. That looks like something I need to blow up, though. So this is where, if you had multiple people playing, you could help each other out with that. Oh no, I missed the start earlier. I'm gonna do this again. So it's like, look, I'm not happy that the Jays are doing badly either, but I don't feel that there's anything you can really do about it. So you might as well stick it out and see what happens. Hey, Fwomps. Stand on your head. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you, Fwomps. Oh no. Like, the Jays should be doing better. They're BABIP with runners in scoring position is, like, 10 in the top 10 
worst battles of all time. Evolve baseball. It's pretty bad. So So it's like a lot of it is just bad luck, but like the team should be better. If you look at the players on the team, they should be better. And yeah, they're not better. But again, might as well ride it out. Because unless you really want to tear it down, and if you really want to tear it down, you can still trade Osuna, Strowman, and Sanchez in the offseason along with Donaldson. Like you can tear it down at any time. And yeah, if people give you something for Morales, because apparently the Yankees have interest in Morales for playing first base, uh, that's fine because he has two more years after this one. He's not, he's somebody I wouldn't mind getting rid of because he's so slow and that frees him up to play, um, like that frees up the designated hitter spot so that you could put smoke there and put Bautista at first or vice versa and Bautista may be okay with trying to prove that he can play first base or be a viable DH because they'll give him more value in the off season than people have to have him as a right fielder which many people might not want to and they'll also give you a place to put Pierce and um and smoke and give other people a rest day what am I doing? Am I supposed to hit his wheel thing or something? Oh. I guess I'm supposed to chase him. Take that, Bowser. Oh no, Bowser's dead. The end of Bowser. Jump! Kablam! I need to go back and find out where that star is. Thank you, Corvus. Corvus told me I'm awesome on Twitter. Thank you, Corvus, whoever you are. You're very happy. Thank you. Alright, back in. I gotta get that one star. See, because they add these stars, I can never complete the level until I get off them, which in the later levels often becomes a problem for me because I can't figure out where the stars are, I can't reach them, and that means I can't feel like I need to continue. Okay, hey, wait, there's something there. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you blow out the controller, weird stuff happens. Yeah, I know, I'm going the wrong order. There's my star. So you can blow on the controller to reveal things or blow enemies into a tizzy and stuff. That's weird. 
So it's so weird that the switch apparently requires you to plug in your cell phone in order to be able to speak on voice chat for Splatoon and stuff, which is so weird and messed up. Like, why does Nintendo have to do everything the hard way? Yeah, I know why, but it's so, like, Nintendo, sigh, 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 sigh. Oh, Nintendo. Oh my god. That was close. Die, die, die. Die, Goombas. Kafloop. Yay. So that I have to fight them again, I can't just quit. Who's driving his car? they show you? Can you see who's driving his car? I guess someone's there, right? No, is, he, is that Goomba or something driving his car? It's hard to tell, it's shaking so much. Oh no! That was a bad... Oh, this car's alive. That's weird. Anyway, so my recommendation is just to stick out the J season, hope they turn it around and have a miraculous comeback into the playoffs. With the two wild cards, it's not that hard anymore. And if they don't, they don't. If they finish last, then you get a number one draft pick next year. And everyone can be very excited about that. And then... Um, Estrada and Liriano are gone anyways, and so is Bautista maybe. And you can trade Josh Donaldson in the offseason and sign mm, whatever. Who knows? But yeah, I don't think you can, like even if you want to blow it up, you can't really do anything. And if you really want to tear it down, you're better off waiting for the off season. To like, you usually the trade deadline is when you sell your veterans off, right? You or you sell the people who are gonna be free agents. Um, except that nobody right now wants. If you see like what Arizona paid for JD Martinez, which was almost nothing, like they didn't give up their finest meats and cheeses for that. Um, then, you know, what are you going to get for a struggling Estrada or a struggling Lariano? Where, like, you're not going to get anything for them. So you're selling them off just to sell them off. They're going to be free agents anyway. So even if you hate them, it's not like Phil Kessel, where it's like you want to get out from under six years of his contract or whatever. If Unless, like, they're gone anyway. So you might as well keep them and hope they turn it around. Like whatever C level, D level prospects you get back from them is not going to be worth as much as if they actually turn it around. And if you sell them for nothing and they turn it around for the other team, you're going to feel like not very good about it. So you might as well go for it. Sorry. Sorry, Jays fans. That's, that's reality. Um, okay. So I'm going to go to the next world. Desert world. Alright, and I'm gonna call it a night. So, have a good night everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. I will stream earlier and more stuff in the future. I promise, 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 promise. Take care everyone. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.